probably familiar with Polk Park, which is on uh, Park Street in the vicinity of Hillside Avenue. Also, there's a swimming pool there now, and it's a large, nice, simple park. But this is a photograph of it in Harriet's time. Uh, there were tennis courts uh, given, the, uh, the tennis courts and the whole park was given to the city by Colonel Albert Pope of uh, bicycle fame. And uh, it was devoted to Hartford's uh, west side. Uh, photograph of arms near Colonel Coates' house. And this still exists on Weathersfield Avenue. Many of you may have noticed that. But uh, during Harriet's time, it had this beautiful... Uh, elaborate greenhouse attached to it, which made it even more beautiful. Oak Home, which was Harry Beecher Stowe's original home in Nook Farm. It was much larger than the home that exists uh, on the site now. It was located down at the southern end of Forest Street and a little bit beyond that. Uh, it was a big, beautiful house with huge greenhouses and uh, it proved a little bit too expensive to maintain, so she sold this house and moved into the house which uh, you see on the site now, which was a little bit smaller and uh, easy to manage and easy to afford. Of the Connecticut River in the area of downtown, and as you can see, there are sailboats and steamships, and so the river was very, very much used uh, for recreation and point. Here's another shot. Uh, Steamboats and sailboats on the river, Connecticut River in Hartford. An old Dutch uh, colonial early house, uh, probably from the early 1700s, late 1600s, uh, that existed down near the river in the area that would be down below the old state house. The river house which was on Ferry Street and the uh, just north of the downtown area along the river. It's an old hotel down in the down of Teddy Roosevelt going through downtown Hartford in an electric car. You are familiar with the old state house and the lawn that's on the east side of it. This was a building that sat on that lawn. It's the old post office. Beautiful Greek revival building that still exists on Main Street near the corner of uh, Park Street in Maine. But it also had these other sister houses alongside of it, which is sort of interesting. There was the Sam Wood Woodruff House, uh, the Sumner House, and the Henry Redfield House. So there, there, were, there were a whole group of them that uh, line that I did of one of them. A shot, but these are gardens that existed on a house, the Taylor House on Washington Street. But you can see how elaborate the gardens were, and you can see that there were uh, archways in the gardens, uh, and there were things called rustic arches. They were made um, to look very natural out of cedar poles and uh, unpainted and sort of rough looking so that they would look very country and natural. Uh, in uh, effect, this is that existed along Washington Street. That was a great uh, street of architecture in the city of Hartford. There's still a few great houses left, but uh, it, when you see photographs of what existed there, it, it's really amazing. The, uh, this one is the, the Buckley House, by the way, and that one is the, uh, the Brainard House. It was the Hevermeyer House on Washington and uh, this is the corner of Park Street in Washington, where we now have a, a CVS and a chicken place. We had this wonderful house with a tower before. Uh, this was the George Roberts house on Washington Street, Barber House, and this still actually exists there. You can tell um, when you go by it by the uh, uh, large uh, cupola room on top. Gardens that existed uh, on one of the houses of Washington Street, and it's not such a great picture, but you can see the stairs on the left coming down from the porch, and the extensive gardens um, overflowing, just loaded and loaded with tons and tons of flowers. It, um, labor was very inexpensive then, and um, 
uh, gardens take lots and lots of labor and um, lots and lots of investment. Now, very, very few people have such beautiful gardens. We're lucky at the Stowe House that um, the wonderful uh, trustees and director of the Stowe House are willing to support our gardens, but not many places can afford uh, to have the luxury of a beautiful flower garden. And it's, they're really a great gift to the city. Beautiful houses on Washington Street, the uh, Ellsworth House and the Buckley House. Beautiful, beautiful old houses that were lost. Greatest houses in Hartford that no longer exist. Uh, it was on Woodland Street and it was called the Goodwin Mansion. You can see the extensive greenhouses on the left and the beautiful tower. It's a beautiful, beautiful, amazing piece of architecture that's gone now. There's a room from it still existing in the Wadsworth Athenaeum. Pictures of the gardens behind the Goodwin Mansion on Woodland Street. This was just really around the corner from the Stowe House. Uh, if you go to Farmington Avenue and uh, uh, turn left and then right down Woodland uh, to Asylum, that's where the Goodwin Mansion was. And these gardens were extensive and huge. Uh, here's another picture. You can see uh, just acres, literally acres of flowers exuberantly planted. And here's another example of a beautiful rustic arch that was prevalent in the neighborhood um, it, it, to set off the, the uh, architecture uh, of the garden. Uh, here's another uh, shot with another uh, woodland rustic seat arch. This one not only was a trellis, but it looks like it had a, uh, a place to sit and uh, gaze and dream at the gardens. Here's another uh, shot of the gardens with a different kind of per a thing called a pergola, which is also a rust. This is a rustic pergola, which means it was just. A pergola is sort of a an arbor uh, that I just showed you were down below it. They would be to the right or to the west of the house. But you can see how the, the street was uh, just a, uh, uh, walked from the Stowe Center down to Woodland Street and down towards Asylum, and we're approaching that corner. Um, this is the view that we would have of the Goodwin Mansion. It sat beautifully on that corner. It has a beautiful, dramatic drive. And those gardens uh, that I just showed you were down below it. They would be to the right or to the west of the house. But you can see how the, the street was uh, just a um, uh, gravel road then. It wasn't paved. And there were these beautiful, old-fashioned uh, lighting fixtures. And it's tree-lined. Uh, looks like there's a horse or a bicycle rider uh, on the street. We create the Stowe Center Historic Landscape. How has the spirit of volunteerism helped to 